Today, I'm here with my friend, Frosty. Hi. She has absolutely no editing experience, and today I'm gonna to teach her how to edit like a professional in eight hours. And to make this interesting, we're putting my YouTube career at stake, as the very first video she edits is gonna be uploaded directly onto my channel. But let's not tell her that just yet. I don't want to overwhelm her. I'm actually really quite scared. At 6 p.m. today, the office we've rented closes and we'll be kicked out. So as usual on this channel, time is of the essence. Before we get to editing, let's ask Frosty what her previous editing experience is. Hi. So my editing experience starts and probably ends when I was 13 with iMovie, making music videos with my friends. I'm quite scared of editing. It seems very um, hard. I'll be going over the fundamentals of editing with her, as well as teaching her how to edit like the pros, so that by 6 p.m. today, she'll be a certified YouTube editor, able to take on any editing job she wants. I'm throwing out the boring editing rule book, and I'm teaching her how to edit my way. Speaking of, I've just released my very first online course, which teaches you how to edit from beginner to pro the Finzar way. It's unlike any course you've seen before, and I am really excited to share it with you. I've made this course so that anyone can do it, no matter your skill level. So if you're interested, then head on down to the link in the description and sign up today. The day begins and the work comes in. Let me just remind you, Frosty has no idea what to expect from today. And as soon as that laptop opens, the timer begins. Already preloaded on there is the footage Frosty needs to edit, as well as a small package of sound effects, picture assets, and all of my presets. This should be heavenly for a normal editor, but for Frosty, she has no godly idea what she's looking at. Holy shit. <laughs> We're ready. I don't think I am. The best place to start is knowing how to get around Premiere Pro, getting to know all of its little nooks and crannies and realizing that actually, it's not very scary at all. Have you ever used Premiere Pro before? No. <laughs> so I start by teaching Frosty the very basics of getting around the software, getting her used to each name of each panel and what they do. Then, to get a grasp of her natural editing instincts, I get her problem solving early on. What's going on here that we don't like? We, we don't know what clip is which. Right, so we wanna like rename the clips, right? Yay! Okay. So let's watch them. <laughs> call that whatever you want to call it. Lift. Um, lift. Vibes. She seemed to really enjoy the organizing of clips, so this part was really easy. And the main point for me teaching her was to relate the experience to something most of us do every day. Have you got a Windows or Mac? Mac. Okay, it's the exact same as okay, that. Sweet. Okay, sweet. Okay, but that. just there. Yeah. Next up was putting those nicely named files from the project panel onto the timeline for Frosty to create a structure of the video. Now this didn't take too long either, as Frosty seemed to just have a natural knack for getting the pacing down on the video. So, soon after making the timeline go from this to this, she was ready for a surprisingly challenging task. Now we're gonna do the voiceover. Okay, sweet. So to do the voiceover, you gotta click that little voiceover record button. It'll give you three seconds, and then you stop talking. Oh, a countdown. Yeah, it'll give you a little countdown. <laughs> so when you're ready, don't panic, we'll do loads of takes if you need to. You're asking me to read? Yes. <laughs> Today, I'm going up to Finzar HQ to ask him what his favorite editing technique is. <laughs> No, don't worry. You can just keep going. You can literally just what? keep... This is the beauty of voiceover. We can cut it up later. After a few attempts... Again. A few more attempts... Again. And then a few more attempts... Again. She nailed the voiceover and we were rolling on into refining the clips on the timeline so that they fit what Frosty was saying. And by 11.49, Frosty had successfully completed her first draft of the video. And next up were some nice visual effects, subtitles, and a healthy dosing of sound effects and music. I love that. I love that. You look very magnificent right now. Thank you. I know. So here begins the adventure from amateur to professional grade editing. We're gonna track this image of my face onto this building in this shot. Now this isn't too difficult, but for a complete newbie like Frosty here, it's gonna be a whole new language to learn. Frosty, have you ever heard, do you know what keyframing is? And you take a key, and you frame it. Not quite. I was gonna say something smart. After a few minutes of sifting through the footage, placing the keyframes and adjusting the tracking, Frosty had actually created a decent animation. And to top it all off, we added some flashy preset animations to the nested sequence we'd created. What's his favorite No way! That was actually crazy. Next up, I had Frosty learning all about adjustment layers and how you can slap on so many effects into just one layer. This was the perfect time to blow her mind with some sweet but simple transitions. So we're gonna go to the page next to the bin, click on that, and then adjustment layer there. Adjustment. 
Yeah, we're gonna drag that end right down. We're gonna make it really, really short. To the point, we want this to be on like 12 frames long. I think a slide up. Yeah, I like that. Because we're going up in the elevator. <sighs> to do this, we're gonna save some time here. Highlight the transition we, we made save. before. <laughs> she was doing great, and by 12.30 she had created and duplicated the world's smoothest transitions. And with that, it's time for lunch and a short break. Let's go, young lady. That's so good. Let's check in with Frosty and see how she's feeling about the day so far. The day is going really well, actually. I feel like we've got a lot done in the morning. I could be telling a different story in a couple of hours, but right now I'm feeling positive. So we went out for a quick lunch. We went to a nice vegan place in Brighton and had a chat about the day ahead. So much fun left to be had in the day, Frosty. I'm excited. I know you are. I know you are. We got what? We got subtitles, sound effects, all the good things, all the groovy things. Music. Things. You're excited. Ready to seize the day. And soon after, we were back into the crazy penthouse office, where Frosty will now commence work on rotoscoping. That's right! You thought I was gonna take it easy on her? No way! She's gotta get her hands dirty and get those nails chipped. It's time to show her what she's really capable of and unlock her inner editing beast. We'll just skip this bit in the video, don't worry. All was going good. Frosty was following instructions well and taking After Effects in her stride. Pretty impressive for a newbie. And in the process of this mammoth task, even I learned something new. You did not realize that I was going to be EP after lunch. EP after lunch? Post lunch eeps. <laughs> what is that? Being a girl. <laughs> Being a woman. Seeing as After Effects just got a brand new update, Rotoscope 3.0, Frosty's first brush over the footage only needed one or two adjustments to be perfect. This is insane for a first edit, and it just goes to show how accessible this kind of stuff is with the right tuition and a sprinkling of confidence. Whoa. 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 This is how the rotoscoping turned out. Now it's time to move on to what I've been thinking will be the most time consuming part of the day. Earlier, when I was asked in the interview room what my biggest concern was for the day ahead, I said this. But we don't have that much time left. I'm a little bit worried because of the subtitles coming up because they take the longest and also they require a lot of just general knowledge of Premiere Pro. So for a first timer, I think that's gonna take a lot of time. Thankfully, with Frosty being quite a creative mind, she actually seems to really enjoy the process of figuring out subtitles. What color text do you want? You can have any color. What color are you gonna have? Because I wanna like, I should probably. Nicely. I should probably have orange. She also took into consideration some light color theory with the different people's subtitles, which surprised me. Press T. You, you know the drill by now. I know the right, drill, right. but also watch me in case I do it wrong. So a good start. Let's see how long that enthusiasm lasts and whether or not she'll get the dreaded editor's block. I know, no one says that. I just, I just made that up. It's not a real thing, but you, you get what I mean. She's getting it. She's getting it. I want a coffee. Do you want a coffee? Yes, please. Things were brewing. Not only the coffee, but this video too. <gasps> oh, I think it's quite good. Oh, you're quite tall, aren't you? <laughs> I think I've done it. No, nope, you got loads more. Oh. Be happy for me. I am so proud of you. Let's see, let's see. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, I just died. It's just rendering. Don't stress. I'm very stressed. Don't stress. I'm tired. It says one second left, but it's been like that for over a second. Today, I'm going up to Finzar HQ to ask him what his favorite editing trick is. Yeah? <gasps> Nailed it! <laughs> Bonk. As I'd feared, the subtitles were chewing into the time quite aggressively. 2.34. How much time do we have left? Three and a half hours until we get kicked out. So imagine, you've only done this bit so far. You've got, you're not even halfway there. This is the lovely life that editors lead. And after another tedious hour of editing subtitles, she was done. Go, get out of here! <laughs> Yay! That was sick. I think next we've got to do music. What say you? I say I. On to music, and we were going through all the classics. Where is that from? It's when you lose. This, this I know. It's when you're choosing, isn't it? Yeah. Any of them doing anything for you? I don't know, something. We landed on one song in particular, which I've used a lot on my channel before, which Frosty like called... Like old school. Studious. So she dragged that onto the timeline to see how it would fit. Luckily, we both agreed that it was perfect. And after teaching her a bit about audio gain adjustment, she was flying with the audio and music design. All that's doing is taking away From the incremental idea. Yeah. Which led us swiftly onto the next and final stage of this video, sound effects. The trick with sound effects and the main thing that I taught Frosty whilst we were doing them was to be efficient. How do I play it? That's how you're playing it. Oh. I didn't tell her how to do that. She just did that. She just did that by herself. Yeah. 
<laughs> Using option and drag to duplicate some whooshes, making sure that they're not too intrusive by adjusting gain, and also showing her which sound effects would work best for what was on screen. And after some final adjustments, tweaking small moments and changing the text that goes behind me during the rotoscope section to a YouTube logo, and a few other tiny little things, with a whole two hours remaining, Frosty, against all odds, had finished editing the video, and she'd done it in just short of six hours in total. Now bear in mind, she hasn't had any experience in Premiere Pro before this. So getting a YouTube video out in this amount of time at this level of quality, it's actually really impressive. And so it was time to reveal to her that she had secretly been working for me this whole yeah. time. <laughs> Video. Yeah, that's like a short and it's good. Holy crap, it's actually a short. I should tell you, Frosty, this is going up on my channel. You've just made a Finzar short. No. Little did you know you've been working for me this whole time. Wait, what? Do you owe me money? No. <laughs> this can't go on your channel. Yeah, oh, it's going on my channel. But like representing people you. Are, people have already seen it. They've all already seen it. This is the person behind that video. I'm so sorry. All right, Frosty, you're done. And you've done it two hours early as well. Thank you so much. What I'm, can I say? I'm really proud of you. You've, you've done excellently. And if you guys want to learn Premiere Pro from beginner to pro, then I've just made a course, brand new, which you can check out. The link is in the description. So if you have no editing experience like Frosty here and you want to be a Premiere Pro, then check it out. Frosty, say the words. Say the words into the camera. Tell them. Now get out. <laughs> tell them. Now get out of here. Is that all I'm, I'm saying? Just, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just got to like really tell them. Because they're staying here otherwise. They're going to stay here all day if, they, <laughs> if, they, if, they, if you don't tell them. Now go get out of here. Get out of here. Get out! <laughs> get out. That'll do. I think that'll do. <laughs> that'll probably...